The s'mores were the best. Oh, the s'mores were yeah. so, so good. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, getting a floss. My favorite was when you guys taught me how to swim. Oh, yeah. Now I can swim. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Hey kids, we were just talking about the great time we had at camp. We hope you guys also enjoyed it too. Now let's get ready for a new month. Let's do this. But I've heard tender whispers 
So today's bottom line is, when you learn about God, it's easier to follow Him. Let's say that all together. When you learn about God, it's easier to follow Him. Yeah, that's right. So God is the creator of the world. He's in control of everything. We show that we trust God when we obey Him and follow His plan. Jesus showed the ultimate act of obedience when He chose to obey His Father's plan to die for our sins. Obedience isn't always easy to do, but when you do it, it takes you on the perfect path for your life. Do you know what obedience is? Can you give an example? Um, obedience is when you follow like instructions. And I think an example is um, when my mom like, tells me to clean my room and I listen to her the first time instead of her telling me like three or four times. When you follow the rules, like at school, um, I listen to teachers, I don't run in the playground, etc. 
they say not to do something, I listen instead of doing the opposite. Those are both really good answers and really good examples of what obedience is. Question two. Nick, can you please read Psalm 119, verse 105? Yeah, of course. Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light for my path. Thank you for reading. So why do you think the word of God is compared to a light and a lamp? I think it's compared to a light and a lamp because um, the Bible is such a great guide for our lives. Okay. I think because even in dark times, we could turn to the word of God and that could light a way for us. That was a great answer, Nick. Grown-ups. Now it's your time to go over the rest of the questions with your kids. Bye! So this is what our paper looks like. And when you open it, it looks like this. They haven't been cut through the all the way through. So now you're gonna circle, get it around. That's to not cover the words you wrote. So we're gonna tape it at the top and at the bottom. Here is our lamp. Now, put 
with your lights and your lamp on top. Turn off the lights and see what it looks like. Well, this is our craft. Thank you for joining me for Sam's Craft. I'll see you next time. Bye. Now that we've done our crafts, I would love to see what crafts you've done. Send them to the link below.